So doing it's uh, Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Thursday uh, trading session, the 13th of October 2016. Apologies <coughs> for me being away. Uh, I've had a, um, a really bad um, a virus, uh, stroke tonsillitis, and uh, not been uh, 100%, but finally getting into the uh, swing of things again and back to daily videos. Be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly download the app at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, it certainly has been volatile, uh, especially from the US market perspective. So I'll be doing a, a European market video today and then uh, a US market video shortly as well. Overnight, let's start as always. Overnight, Asian market certainly under pressure. Although the Shanghai uh, fin managed to finish it positive, the Hang Seng negative, uh, the uh, Nikkei uh, negative as well. And the uh, main story out overnight was the weaker Chinese export data. Chinese exports certainly came in on the weaker side, okay, and certainly uh, uh, rekindled concerns with regards to Chinese growth. And that certainly has put a lot of the uh, European equities on the uh, certainly back foot. A lot. I mean, having said that, the uh, the European equities certainly were immune to that, or still are still immune to it to a large extent with sterling down. Uh, below 1.22 you have the euro now uh, around the 1.1 level so again certainly helping the equities from that perspective okay uh, with a weaker currency so it's all about inflation uh, exporting inflation and who will import deflation so if you uh, obviously debauch your currency then there's a less uh, probability or very low probability that you're importing deflation and therefore money globally is trying to find a place where it will protect itself from deflation and therefore will attract the fund flows with into that particular equity so at present you have the FTSE uh, sterling obviously uh, uh, down quite substantially 20 30 40 percent i mean it's uh, we had a flash crash as well so there's been a lot of incidents a lot of events okay in terms of uh, the actual uh, index itself so just to go over it again, uh, in terms of the main market moving events, you have China, the import export data on the weaker side, okay, that is negated to a large extent by the weaker sterling, okay. We had the FOMC minutes overnight as well, so Chinese data negated to a large extent of that as well, given the fact that uh, we had uh, FOMC minutes potentially on the dovish side. So let's bring up the actual uh, <coughs> equities now, or the actual technical picture. Okay, let's start off with the German DAX first and foremost, folks. Okay, now German DAX with the euro languishing at the 1.10 level is very hard, very, very hard to actually justify a, a short position on the German DAX based on that. Okay, so it will certainly help exports and therefore we should technically be uh, stimulatory and should be bullish. Okay, 10 minute chart German DAX, you are potentially building a base here. Okay, so keep an eye on the German DAX here. You are potentially building a base. <clears throat> no, no lower lows as of yet. Okay, so again, you have an unfilled gap above. So again, keep an eye on that unfilled gap, which is left at 10,520. And again, you are into pivot S3 support here. RSI, obviously, into that uh, oversold territory as well. Certainly looking for a, a potential bounce. In terms of economic data today, really it was all about um, Chinese data. You have had CPI data out of Germany that came in more or less in line. And now we're looking forward to, uh, well not looking forward, but certainly looking towards continuous jobless claims, initial jobless claims and import prices. Uh, again, <clears throat> FOMC member Harker, speak, member Harker speech, again that will be important. Crude stocks uh, certainly will be important as well. Okay, so German DAX certainly putting in a potential base here. Looking at the French CAC now, looking at the daily chart, coming into that 200 MA support, again supported by weaker euro, so certainly indicating a bullish bias. 60 minute chart, you had a bear flag. Okay, so there is support in this region here at uh, 4360, but given the weaker euro, again, the market could certainly start to lift prior to that. 10 minute chart building a base, you have an unfilled gap above, so all eyes on the unfilled gap. So 
So again, potential double bottom scenario here at 4380. Looking at the FTSE 100 daily chart, first and foremost, you are back into that key zone now, folks. Previous resistance equals support, so you're into that breakout territory. This is where the FTSE 100 broke out around the 6900, tested the 7130, then obviously has reversed. So buyers certainly need to step in here on the back of weaker sterling, okay? 60 minute chart, you have this key diagonal trend line support. Again, previous resistance equals support as well. So this is a key zone and a key area for a potential reversal. 10 minute chart, <clears throat> we haven't reached pivot S3 as of yet. You are still in a bearish channel, but I was expecting the um, potential double bottom scenario to hold here and start to reverse. Now the FTSE, like I said, has been very bullish, bullish as of late due to weaker sterling, with sterling still below 1.22, and obviously oil prices bullish as well, with oil prices hovering around 50, it certainly will help uh, the FTSE 100 move higher. So again, keep an eye on the FTSE from that perspective. Right, last but not least is Euro stocks. Certainly a bear flag formation on the 60 minute chart, but we are looking at a potential to a bottom formation on the 10 minute chart. The daily chart at the moment you are into a diagonal, approaching diagonal trend line support. You certainly have these bottoming tails again, an area where buyers certainly step in. And obviously you have this diagonal a trend line that's in place. We've pierced the 200 MA. Okay, so bear in mind, the weaker euro certainly will help European equities and it can certainly make it immune to a global market sell-off. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.